All right, Greg Remingay joins us once again for some more free legal advice. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And uh, today we're going to discuss a process called discovery, and this takes place after the litigation. Um, I don't know what it means. Can you describe, help us at home and help me what, exactly what it means? Well, you file the suit. Sure. After you file the suit, the other side responds and answers denying or pleading that they committed the allegations that you said. Mm -hmm. Most of the time they're going to deny it. Otherwise, we wouldn't continue on with the litigation. Sure. But once they file their answer, both sides have a chance to do what's called discovery. Okay. Discovery is a process where you learn everything about the other person's case that you possibly can. The first thing you have to do in the process of discovery is disclose who all your witnesses might be, okay. disclose what they might say, and give the other side whatever documents you currently have. Okay. Now they get to look through all those documents and witnesses, and then they get to do the formal discovery process. One of the first things is interrogatories. They will send you questions that you have to answer under oath mm. so that they can find out what your position is. Okay. The second thing is they will do depositions. Deposition is a sworn statement under oath where they get to sit down with a court reporter and ask you questions just like you're on the witness stand. Mm. What did you do? Give me more details. And they get to examine you just like you're on the witness stand. This then gets transcribed and they get to look at it and say, I thought this was your case. And so they get to prepare for what they believe your case is. The purpose is that you are not supposed to do trial by ambush. That's the phrase that they use. Uh -huh. I get to find out all of your case, everything that you're going to say, so that I can ac accurately and well prepare. Sure. You get to find out everything about my case so you can prepare. Now we get to present this in front of the jury with no surprises so both of us are prepared. I know what your claims are going to be. You know what my claims are going to be. With depositions you know what I'm going to testify to. Sure. And now we can actually have a dispute where it's not a surprise attack. Okay. So that's what the process of discovery is. Is the purpose of this to kind of speed up the actual uh process in trial because uh, I feel like it would take forever if it, this didn't take place? Or well, it's not so much to speed up the trial, but to make sure that it's not an ambush. Okay. I can, once I take the depositions, know what your claim is and make a rational decision. Should I settle this or do we want to go to trial? Sure. Okay. Once we make those decisions, then we can have a fair trial. You tell me what your claims are, we present them both to the jury, mm -hmm. we both prepare, and we can have a fair trial. Okay, fair enough. So uh, kind of takes out the surprises, any, any possible surprises that could be. Right, and yeah. gives you information that you can use to decide how to go along with the litigation. Right, absolutely. So that's an important process of the uh, jury process or the trial process. Trial process. Yes, yes. absolutely. So, all right, if you have any questions for Greg uh, about that or just want a free consultation, feel free to contact him with that information right there on your screen. We'll be right back after the break. If you want Greg to answer one of your legal questions, visit krextv.com, click on Live in the Studio, and submit your question on the right side of the screen. Watch Greg's segment every Wednesday on News Channel 5 at noon.